while the runners from the 437 project, including our own Dan Santella, have completed their trek across South Dakota. Kello Lange Jordan Smith joins us live with Dan at the Levitt in downtown Sioux Falls, where the community welcomed the runners. Good evening, Jordan. Good evening, Julia. Well, I'm here with a very sore Dan Santella, and we're at the Levitt, which is where they had the closing ceremonies just a couple hours ago. And Dan, what was this experience like for you? It was humbling and invigorating and powerful, and I feel like I'm on cloud nine. A little sore, yes, but I, I'm kind of struggling to find the adjectives for it. Absolutely, and Dan, this was a challenge, right? You're going across yeah. the state, and I think with something like this, you need to make sure that you remember your why. So right. what exactly is that why? My why was I was running as a teammate with the other 11 runners, but I was also covering it as a reporter, journalistically, right? So I wanted to share their whys, their perspectives, why they were doing it, and really bring the viewer and the reader out there onto the route, right? To show them what it looked like, hear the wind, you know, see the light, see the sunrise, the sunsets. I was able to get both of those and the rolling hills, right? You can see the heat, right? It's a weird thing to say that out loud, right? But you, when you know it's when it looks hot out, right? And capture that and really bring the viewer along to how it was a physically and mentally challenging event, but so worth it. And it was, it was 12 people coming together. We didn't really know each other prior. It's really put a spotlight on mental health. Awesome. And then what kind of difference do you think you made to anyone who has been impacted by suicide? Well, it was all a big fundraiser for the Helpline Center, which helps connect people to mental health resources. And overall, uh, this event raised just a little over $315,000. So the proof's in that pudding. But I think there's also, I said this phrase a couple times, like a rising tide of awareness of a focus on mental health and really putting it in this prime spot and focus and attention that it deserves. I think we're seeing more and more of that in recent years. I do think the 437 Project contributes to that. All right, thanks a lot, Dan. We really appreciate your work. And I was out here a couple hours ago at the closing ceremonies. I'll have a full report for you coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. But for now, reporting in Sioux Falls, Jordan DeSmith and Dan Santella, Kettleland News.